Welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny. We are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag the Cannons. CCTV. All right, guys, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. All right, today we're back, guys, with another mukbang. Today we got a good old counter meal for you. Today we are eating cube steaks, gravy, mashed potatoes, and um, broccoli cheese. So that's pretty much what we have on the menu. Some of good old stitchy ribs, country style <laughs> dinner. So um, without further ado, Danny's gonna hit you with a couple things. Then we're gonna dig in. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload and give this video a thumbs up. Like it. That's right, guys. Like this video. I'm going to remember to hit that button and hit that bell. That's right, guys. Remember, guys, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the cannons moving closer and closer to 25,000 subscribers. We want to thank all you new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back, fam. Welcome back. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pray and then we're going to get in this food. Oh God, number Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourished to our bodies and as your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hi right, y'all, so I'm gonna kick start it off a little bit of a little bit of Franks. See the key to cube steaks. You do them how you want. I mean, it ain't um it ain't all uh, a special thing, you know. You can do them how you want, but the, mm -hmm. the thing is getting them tender. You want them tender because they are a tough piece of meat to start with. But if you do them right, see, look. That break. That break and split on you, lady. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to worry about nothing, see? If you don't cook them right, they will not be tender for you. Real simple. Mm. That gravy hit too. Mm -hmm. mm. Basic steamed broccoli here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat one florette. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to you, steak boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Food like this is really comforting. Mm -hmm. You have a bad day and you go home and eat this. <laughs> Yes, sir. I just picked this whole piece up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Digging some of these potatoes. I've been eating them. Mm-hmm. Bit too much parsley out there. Mm -hmm. Garnish. I just need a couple. I don't need the big sprigs. Most people think parsley don't have a taste. It definitely does. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In some recipes, I intentionally use fresh parsley because you get. I need that flavor. But it can be just as bad as cilantro. 
too much of it. Mm -hmm. I'll take you out of here. He's rocking in the hat. I'm a little scared. Been sitting down on that uh hot plate. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Mm. 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 Is you dancing? Mm -hmm. I was dancing early. I was gonna put the mashed potato recipe up here, but I didn't have my wife at the grocery store. I picked up a bad <laughs> bag of potatoes. She couldn't save many. The one she did save were little two. They were twenty. Tell her AJ, it don't make no sense that you got our Walmart is so bad that you can't even go in there and just pick up a bag of potatoes and it be okay. Okay. Yeah. Which I mean, you know, every all produce at any store you should be checking for it. But I mean, that's a whole bag of potatoes. All right. You got to go through. So, I mean, it's that's crazy. Because not everybody's gonna have you know eye for produce. Right. I mean, I I do. I just was in a rush and I didn't look. I was like, um, I mean, I, I don't know the stuff as well as Danielle. I mean, as far as produce, she knows all the. She's she's still handle it. So, but um, I can pick out good and bad produce, but. Some people just, you know what I'm saying? They don't know that well, you know? So you should be able to trust your grocery store to right. rotate that stuff out. And then even like, when you remember we did the delivery stuff? Honey, that was so scary. Right. Because I see like how those, um, the workers in there, they don't even care to look and see, is this going to be okay, honey? They just picking the apple up and going. Right. And mm -hmm. I seen apples sitting on top where I could take my finger and just like push in it. I did the delivery from that store, but I would never put produce mm -hmm. on. Like I'm saying, okay, a couple bad things here and there, fine. But like I said, most people who don't really look got an eye for produce and stuff like that should be able to, for the most part, go in there and be able to pick something off the shelf and. Trust that it's okay, especially right. if it's bagged. If it's bagged items, why you got several bag, bags of uh, bad potatoes on top of each other, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Once they start getting lumped together, they're just going to make the next bag go bad. It's like, you shouldn't mind. Oh, don't Really that good. was a little hot tray. Uh, uh, honey, he's getting down to the nitty gritty to the bottom. <laughs> That's like straight plate, hot plate. It's wrong down here. It's so it wrong. Down. <laughs> it's so wrong down here. Like, I'm scared. Look at that. Mm -mm. Oh, no. I'm going to just let it fling out in the air. Yeah. Here y'all go. <laughs> y'all take this hot piece. <laughs> Look at me with this square. Here we go. You got it. Do it. He did it. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of me. <laughs> so, AJ, we're going to talk about today. If we grew up in a strict home, which I don't think mine was strict, strict, but maybe like, if I had to go from a one to a five, I'm going to say a three and a half. All right, everybody can go, I mean, some people's houses can be strict, but in different ways. Mm-hmm. So, this person was wearing makeup, which you can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I was able to wear makeup until I went to my senior prom, and it was very minimal, very little. <laughs> which I was okay with, because I really didn't get... Involved in makeup till I got to college, so I was okay with it. Go on dates. I mean, yeah, I wasn't told I was hitting. 
I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, was, was I could not go on dates, but I could have company over the house. But I went on dates, and I, they didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and once I got them license, that was it. I'm on my mail here. You think you're slick? I saw you at the movies. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. <laughs> um... Wear spaghetti scrap shirts or tank tops. Once again, another one for AJ. He can't answer. Uh, mm -mm. I don't think they want me to wear one now. <laughs> Not if they got to look at it. I don't want me to wear one now if they got to look at it. Look at it. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Have your ears pierced. So I figured I'd do how I did a bump, but I just put the whole thing Oh, up. no. Did I do what? Have your ears pierced. So my ears were pierced as a baby, so that was a go for me. Neither one of my pants was too fine when I pierced my ears. I don't know why my dad went, because his ears pierced, <laughs> but... And then the first time I did it, I did it on my own. I listened to Wait, my... I don't know how you did that. That was a no. I can't. I listened to my friends. Who told me how to do it. Mm -mm. He said, put some ice on your ear. Numb your ear. He said, I did it with the earring itself. Not even anything oh, really no. sharp. Which is crazy. You know, just crazy. Today, I would have... I don't know. That would, I would have been right. I would do something else. That is, I would never did that. So did you let it close up or? See, the first time I did it, one ear took and one ear did. So I did it both. Like one ear was just off, and it was hurting. So I let it. I let it. I took it out and let it close up. Mm -hmm. Because I, he told me to put the ice on my ear. Oh, excuse me. Tell <clears throat> so me put the ice on your ear. Let it numb it. Then take a lighter, take your earring, put the lighter on. Um, sterilize. Yeah. Burn the end of the oh, earring no. so you sterilize it, and then push through. He said it's. He said he said if you do it by hand, you gonna feel it ain't gonna just go through one layer. He said you are gonna feel it going through all the layers, and it's gonna come right out on the other side. And he wasn't lying. He's like, unless you. Just super strong and ready, especially your own ear. You're not just gonna push it all the way through because you got multiple layers, so you can feel every layer is going through like. Pop, 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 oh no! Pop, 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 like going through <laughs> all those layers in your ear. It was first one wasn't painful. The second one was anyway. One of them ended up closing up. Then I think I ended up taking both out. Mm -hmm. Then I went and then I got. I think I redid one, and then I or. I think I redid one, and then I let that one close up, and then I got them both done at Walmart, and she, one was off. <laughs> Those are the ones I have now. <laughs> I've had them forever now, so, but one's off, not lined up, and I told her, I said, it's not lined up, but whatever, I ain't doing it no more. Your ears been through a lot of trauma. Yeah. Um, but it's a good thing I don't <laughs> keloid or anything like that. because yeah, that would have been bad. I mean, after the first trial at my... Uh, that was, I probably would look like I was wearing headphones. You know better for doing that. Mm -mm. Go out with your friends past 7 p.m. Yeah? Huh? Go out with your friends past 7. Yeah, my day started yeah, funny, that. though, at one point. Uh, when I was in high school, I was like, you waiting a little late to start tripping, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in high school now. Like, why are you trying to crack down now? I'm I had you need to be back home before it's dark. What? I'm like, why are you trying to trip now? Like, it was, so what? before high school, I wasn't really allowed to go anywhere. Not like that. I could go to this one girl house up the road. That was it. And I had to come back home. But I think my curfew was like 11. And my mama always used to say something because... I, the garage door would be going up at 11 p.m. She talking about you just didn't even decide to come in earlier. For one, I had to come in when the party was starting to jump off. So, 
<laughs> I'm already not happy. I done been there with your brother. Oh, yeah. let me tell you something. She will not <laughs> go to sleep until she. Mm-mm. He this boy trying me. He know good well. I said so and so. He trying to push. Her. I, honey, the garage door be going up at 11. Even though sometimes I would try her, I get there like 11.15 and she talking about where you been. Or she texting me at 11 o'clock and I said, mm, I lost track of time. <laughs> I lose track of time. I knew that. I'm about to eat that ass too hot. Mm, you better not. I'm not bang over. I'm done with the food. <laughs> Stop that. Uh, let's see. Eat whatever you want it. Mm -mm. No. Which might explain today. Right. <laughs> I did not. Um, I be trying to creak on the kitchen floor. Just I know where the spot is. Yeah, that's definitely. Not, I think that's a black household in general. <laughs> you ain't about to just go in here and eat what you want. Like you bought the groceries, you gonna decide your own dinner. You, know, you gonna eat what you told. Mm -hmm. Especially if you trying to, just, if you just trying to be picky. Like I'm not gonna eat that because I don't want it. <laughs> Can I just eat a bowl of cereal? No. Mm -hmm. That's just not. Nah, honey. Tell me I'm Now, as you honey. get older, you know, some things kind of change here and there. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, we had to eat what was given. Had me in there stealing meat out the refrigerator, lurching meat. I walked to the refrigerator one day and I said, AJ, ain't this, I held the meat up. I said, ain't this great that we can do this now? <laughs> Nobody telling me, get out my meat. I know you ain't in there eating meat. Like, I know I am. <laughs> and I'm like, put it down. Get out of there. I don't even do it that much no more. It's a luxury of being an adult. <laughs> yeah, I could just go in there and pick up my own lunch and meat and nobody telling me, get out the refrigerator, stop eating my meat. When you ain't going to put but one piece on my sandwich anyway. Yeah, I <laughs> promise you. <laughs> I have never... <laughs> I got to tell this. When me and Danielle first moved together, we were living together for probably about six months, going on a year. And y'all know, like, all deli meat is different. And, um, like, for the most part, you have the deli meat that's, like, thin shaven. It's kind of, like, comes in little rolls in the, in the pack. And you kind of, like, you kind of, like, fold that up on your sandwich. You kind of, like, kind of lay it kind of funny uh, then you have this like the deli the ham and the uh, turkey and stuff that comes it's kind of already in a rectangle or square and it's pretty thick cut so you really don't need but probably one <laughs> or two pieces like cause, and you for the most part you lay that flat unless you want to like fold one side if you put two pieces on you got to fold one side and you fold the other side but it's so thick that you're not gonna you know what I'm saying you're not gonna lay it like the other this fool one day we were making sandwiches and I look over. Daniel has like half. The, I, just, <laughs> I did not have it half. Was, if it was a regular pack, it would have been half. But I had bought a big pack of the um. It was a ham, and it was just, it was the and it was the rectangle, and it was and it literally. I look. I had bought the thick pack. That's the only reason I look, and literally she like I took a taking a bite, and I can see. This much ham, like a whole thick six or seven slices. I'm like, that's not what I is. did not have seven. I said, damn. It might have been four or five. I said, just because you put that many slices of the thin sliced deli ham on there, why do you have all this meat? It was crazy. <laughs> I wish I still had the picture. I sent it to her mom. I said, do you see this? And that's her fault. She no. shouldn't have put one piece up now. He got me with all that bread. Man, that was crazy. I ain't put seven I don't even know how you been through that. <laughs> I did not put hey, If seven I find pieces, this picture. It was four or five. It was definitely not seven. I'm going to look through my phone for the picture. Look if I it. find it, I'm going to put it up here. I did not have seven pieces. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all count them. If y'all can find it, if I can find it. I had no seven pieces. He get on my nerves. Damn, yeah, that was a lot. That was <laughs> said, no regrets, none, 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 none. Let's see. Go to sleep over. Oh yeah, I can do that. No, 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 no. I went to a uh, family sleepover one time. 
it was a bunch of us cousins and one of my cousins decided to act up. The one that was on the, the mama side with me decided to act up and that was our last show. Oh, that was the fight. <laughs> yes. I remember you that know. was the fight, honey. Little cousin and them fighting the other little cousin. And that was the end of the party. That was the end of our show. Me and my uh, first cousins. That was the end of our show. And we ain't go no more sleepovers. Friend, uh, her was mama, that, that anybody mama. Sleepover. It was. That was our last show. So, no. I did not get to go sleepovers. My mom watched a lot of crime shows. And in the back of her mind, she thought something bad was going to happen to me. She just couldn't take it. So... I, you know, <laughs> everybody else out here going to sleepovers, and I got to sit here and sleep in my bed. That's my sleepover <laughs> every night. <laughs> I wish I could go to the sleepovers. Well, you ain't going. I hate it here. <laughs> Only sleepover I'm trying to go to now is my own. Okay. I ain't trying to go nothing last <laughs> too late. I'll be in this. <laughs> it's just the sleep part. I'm, I'm amazed at y'all. Yeah, no. Y'all said this was a sleepover. <laughs> well, you didn't. Why are you coming over here to sleep over? <laughs> you come over here just to sleep over. When's we going to sleep? <laughs> you ain't right. I don't even know when we going to sleep. I'm the, I'm the one in the corner of the room like this. Okay. I do that in parties. Y'all want to do what? So what we about to do now? Look. <laughs> In a party, I go sleep. Well, yeah, I was thinking about um, down. Huh? I was, like, I was thinking about let's uh, let's hit the hay. <laughs> no, no, no. I ain't like sleepovers in my grandma's house. Had me in that sleeping bag. Ugh. <laughs> well, I did go there once again with my cousins. My grandma's house had me in that sleeping bag on that hard floor. Ugh. I'll just go home. <laughs> no, nobody come pick me up, please. My back is hurting and I'm seven. <laughs> I'm seven and my back is hurting in this brown sleeping bag. I look like a log on the floor. Come, please come get me. That's the worst part. Are you uncomfortable? Me, I was never comfortable in that sleeping bag, which I mean, what was, was it made out freezing. of? That I was just about was to say like, that, but I didn't know. Because of, you know my conditions I was in, was I just cold? Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't stand trying to sleep in a sleeping bag. I'll be so cold. I'm just, yeah. Teeth chatter. Uh, Not chatter. Chatter. I'll be chatter. <laughs> I'm glad I never went camping because I really wouldn't have made it. That's when I first experienced <clears throat> Yeah, I rode with my white friends. Mm -mm. They invited me to go camping. And I was all ready for it. And they... When mom bought me a sleeping bag and this guy got some new, got everything they told me I was gonna need. Man, we was out there in that tent. I had that sleeping bag. Like, <laughs> oh God! Oh no! Oh, no! So cold out here. Once again, please come pick me up. I am like the text messages in the lab. They hyped it up. Yeah. <laughs> I am cold. Please it's gonna pick be me so up. fun. We're gonna do this and that, and you got hot chocolate and this and that. I am cold and this. I'm cold and itchy. Oh God! <laughs> right. That is two of the worst things. I can't stand the itch anyway. Nope. Glad I never went camping. Uh, I don't think I missed out. <laughs> then I did again later on with uh, Boy Scouts and stuff. Boy Scouts. And that was uh, on the code. <laughs> again, once again, cold and itching. <laughs> <laughs> it's camping ain't for me. Uh, you is crazy. All right, guys, thank you for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. Um, sorry, Mom didn't finish our food. What? Because, <laughs> you know, your parents went to finish your food. Oh, no. But anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, guys, remember to, uh, remember to subscribe to this channel before you leave. Also, guys, make sure you hit the like button. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, guys, remember to uh, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Share this video with your family, friends, anybody, everybody. Let them know what we got going on over here. Because Karen is sharing, so... Care about us. Care about us. We love you guys so, so much. Do you have anything? No, sir. Then take us out of here. Bye. Bye. Bye.